Hey there, this is uh, the beginning of my Why So Many Guitars Electric Edition. I uh, did a series uh, called Why So Many Guitars Acoustic Edition, and you might say hasht hashtag justification, um, and where I basically talked a little bit about the guitars, maybe how I got them, um, and why I got them, which is more important in some ways. You know, the reason to buy an instrument is, is oftentimes uh, generating the purchase. Um, and so I have, you know, because I, I, I play guitar for a living, I do have justifications for picking up different instruments. And, and it's just like, a, just like a mechanic has multiple tools in his toolbox, I have multiple guitars in my closet. And they all serve a different purpose, for the most part. I've got some redundancy, but for the most part, uh, every guitar I have serves a different purpose. And uh, the purpose of this guitar was basically to be my first electric. So it didn't really serve a purpose other than I didn't have an electric guitar. And um, I've been playing guitar for about four years. Uh, my first guitar was when I was nine years old and it was like a three quarter size nylon guitar. And I couldn't tell you the brand, I can't remember. I gave it to a missionary years ago uh, before I even moved to California. So. Uh, my second guitar, when I was 11, almost made me quit playing guitar um, because it was a poorly made K-12 string. And I was really into John Denver at the time, and um, I really wanted to get a 12 string. And I, every time I picked up a 12 string as a kid, I just went, oh my gosh, this thing sounds so cool. And then when I bought the K one, and I don't think it cost very much, but when I got that one for my birthday, um, it was just the action was really high and so you know 12 strings are hard to play anyway so it literally almost discouraged me and so I, I want to you know warn you that if you get an instrument and you're beginning if you get an instrument that's difficult to play it's probably it may be the end of your end of your endeavor into pl guitar playing so make sure you find something that's fairly easy to play and then you know you can start to add guitars to the collection well then for my 13th birthday, my parents asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I told them I an electric guitar. And I, um, there were two guitars at the store that I took lessons at that I was interested in. One was a Fender Jaguar that was probably a mid or to early 60s one, and then there was this Ibanez. Uh, this is an Ibanez 175 copy. Um, this is one of their lawsuit models. It's gorgeous. I mean, this the, you can see the the maple. It's laminated though, so it's not solid maple, but it is a beautiful, beautiful pieces of maple. Um, and then the the neck is also maple. The, I I filed, you know years ago I took the gloss off so it wouldn't wouldn't be so sticky. It was a little smoother. Um, I also took off the pick guard. It has a black. I still have the pick guard, but I, it had a black pick guard here. I took it off because I think probably to be more like Pat Metheny because I think his his guitar didn't have a pick guard. And then um, I also took off the covers on the tuners because they were rattling so um, but basically this was my first electric and because it was a hollow body guitar I was like uh, you know uh, I, I was I was like well who plays hollow body guitars and the only guitar player that was around electric rock player that played hollow body was uh, was Ted Nugent and I wasn't really that into Ted Nugent so when I went to the store on my birthday to pick out the guitar the fender was gone so it left this guitar to, to, to uh, to uh, be the one that was going to be my birthday present. And it was quite extravagant at the time. I think it was $300. I, I can't quite remember. But that was a lot of money back in 1974. And um, so, you know, little did I know <laughs> that this is one of those presents you get right before your parents tell you they're getting divorced. So, so this was kind of one of those moments where I got a guitar that probably I wouldn't have gotten had my parents not <laughs> decided to get divorced and they were trying to kind of soften the blow before they told us. Anyway, again, this is the, more the backstory than, than the guitar itself. Um, but I, because of this guitar, it, I, I started to get into George Benson and Wes Montgomery, and um, I started to get into jazz. I got into sax players like Charlie Parker and Coltrane um, and Miles Davis and, and Kenny Burrell. I got into Kenny Burrell and Jim Hall and all. So, you know, by the time I was just a couple years later, by the time I was 15, I'm like, I'm going to be a jazz guitar player. I want to be able to do, you know. And I had troubles getting into bands. You know, it was, it was very difficult uh, to find other musicians to jam with and to play with in junior high. 
I had a couple bands that just kind of never took off. And so I felt like, okay, then fine, I'll just be a, you know, solo guitar. So I'll, I'll just accompany myself, I'll just play. And I used to actually sneak into hotel bars and, and watch, I saw Jim Hall, I saw Joe Pass at different places, you know, as a kid growing up in the 70s in Indianapolis, whenever there was a guitar player coming to town, I would try to get in and see him. And so that was, this guitar, because it was a jazz guitar, in my head a jazz guitar, you know, it could be played for any style of music. Um, I, I basically, it was kind of the, the guitar that got me into jazz and got me into learning to read music and to understand music better and to theory and all those things. So this is my first electric, a 1973-74 Ibanez 175 lawsuit model, and I still have it. And of my first guitars, it's one of the few that I still have. And you're going to get more stories about the subsequent guitars and how I came to get them. And you're going to be mad at me because I got rid of some really nice guitars. Uh, and anymore, I don't get rid of anything. Just because, you know, too many regrets. Um, fortunately, I don't have to, but um, I know how it is. Sometimes you have to get rid of something, but um, but I don't do that anymore because I, I have a lot of regrets about things I, I got rid of. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. God bless you guys. I'll talk. Uh, I'll. There's a. You know, somebody asked for this. Uh, several several of you asked for me to do a, an electric series. I I've got so many guitars. I don't know that I'm going to do them all, but I will do any ones that are significant in some way or another and anyone that has a teachable reason for why I got it, it that makes sense because that's really ultimately what I, I want you to kind of understand um, why you need different instruments if you're a professional musician um, and uh, probably don't even have to sell you on that <laughs> okay talk to you later bye bye